the chisel with the shizzle and nizzle, you know? I, I even did this part with an angle grinder, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, love, I love attacking stuff with angle grinders. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. This is the second episode on the Travelling Guitar, and I'm very, very excited. To get you up to speed with what's going on, the Travelling Guitar is a Harley Benton double cut kit, which I unboxed and did a review on. You can see that here. Um, the idea behind the travelling guitar is that it goes to a subscriber of mine, they do a mod to it, then it goes to another subscriber, they do a mod to it, then it goes to another subscriber, and they do a mod to it, so you get the idea. Next stop is St. Louis, and he's going to come back through Chicago on his way to Detroit. Thanks. You know, for a security guard, he had an awful lot of information, don't you think? Um, so it travels from one person to another and gradually morphs into something different. Um, it's a fun little project. Uh, that's, there's about six people involved, I think, at the moment. So the first stop was the Netherlands. It's with uh, Dirk the Lurker, a.k.a. Dungeon Master, a.k.a. Dirky Lurky. He's done some stuff to it. You can check out his channel. Link is in the description, as always. So I don't know what he's done. I've got an inkling of what he's done because there's been some pictures floating around in the Discord. Um, but he did do a live unveiling. I know words, I have the best word. Uh, in the live stream a couple of days ago, I oh, missed it. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to watch it in a minute and do a reaction to that so we can share together what he's done. Um, the next stop is Germany, and then it will be going, I think, to Wales um, after that. But um, it's uh, not set in stone where it goes because people may jump on board as it goes on. This is. Uh, this, the first stop, uh, so it's still quite new in its development, but let's go check out the reveal. Ooh, the dungeon. Let's see how this, uh, this contraption I've built works. Whoa! <laughs> wow, I didn't even recognise it then. Sounds good. Yeah, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, man. Love that. Go on, Turkey Lurker. Rock it, baby. Right now. <laughs> I like this, but the guest of honor is not here. Why is the guest of honor not here? What's going on? Let me check the Discord. I don't. I don't see him. Anyone know where he is? Lamb's not here too. How could you not be in that street? That's really mean. I wasn't even here. Yeah, that's a mean thing. It's not my fault. You're meanie, meanie, meanie. You should have been there. I'm sorry. Yeah. You want to be? This is me, sad. You see, sad face. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Don't Since sad. Brent is not going to be able to join us, um, uh, which is a shame, uh, but uh, uh, we're still going to do this one way or the other. Uh, I did something to the uh, traveling guitar. Um, it's actually uh, my part is finished, so it's going to go off to Gunther next. I'm going to have to send it, send it to uh, Deutschland. Because, um, well, y you've all seen this part, and some of you saw this part. I mean... I've got to say, though, that looks pretty amazing. It does. It's because uh, he's a lot cleverer than you. Hi. Who needs um, a pick card, anyway? Because why don't we lay in some hardwood? Oh, wait, let me... Let me. There we go. I mean, this is what I did to it. And it... Um, thank you. It follows the carve, so I, uh, I actually drew out the carve, 
I actually extended the carve a bit here because the uh, carve ended abruptly in a square piece so it just didn't the bevel just stopped here for some weird reason so I reshaped the entire bottom part um, to make it uh, resemble the carve on my SG uh, I redid the horn too inside of the horn I um, I lowered it by uh, by two mils and I um, uh, made the bevel a little bit steeper so that you can actually reach the bottom fret easily So there's no it's just the horn that's in your way, but yeah my massive horn gets in the way as well Well, that's what she said <laughs> There's nothing uh, on this edge keeping you uh, Yeah, so I, did, I carved it up to here. We still need uh, if someone wants to do this because I'm a bit scared about this uh, take a piece out of this or put a different plate on it that would be really cool uh, uh, so we take it off make it fitting to the theme I, one. I also did the same part up here I followed the entire carve way down here and I actually I had two choices here um, yeah we could take the plate off too but that, that works <laughs> I wasn't sure Great I just put it on because well um, I had two choices here. Uh, I could have uh, made a new bevel uh, that ran way down here and then just leave it inside the body. And when I was routing it, there was a, um, a piece here that was weak because it uh, probably got smacked around during transport. And it actually broke off <laughs> during the routing. So it was um, the, the choice was made. <laughs> So you can see it actually runs to the end of the body. So it actually comes out. So that's pretty cool. It's just worked in there. Um, so it actually runs the bevel complete, uh, completely to the end. So I really like that. I, I like how this turned out. It's just, it's... Um, He's much uh, I don't know. But uh, other than that, it looks really cool. I like it. And uh, while I was stringing it up, by the way, um, the setup is really good. I was enjoying this and it, it feels good to play too. It's a really good guitar. I was actually really surprised about it. Um, but now comes the funny part. Um, uh, I did all the wiring, well, standard. Yes, I did record the building process, um, most of it. Uh, I kept one piece out of it. Sorry, I haven't had any whiskey yet. I think that's a problem. Um, hi, Emmy. <laughs> uh, I kept one piece out of the building process um, because um, originally it was the plan that I did something to the body and then send it off to the next guy. Uh, no, it's not a big problem. <laughs> uh, but I had some ideas and uh, I posted one of those ideas and I left it a bit on, well, debating like should we do this or should we uh, don't do it and I redesigned the entire idea and what I did uh, because it's supposed to be the Hutch Club guitar right I mean it's for the Hutch but it's the Hutch Club guitar right so I did this oh. and I'm really curious what you guys think of that oh that's nuts <laughs> That's brilliant. That is brilliant, Dirky Lurky. Look at that. You changed the shape. It's isn't uh, it? same wing gay inlays like I did on the body. Uh, I didn't put them in as deep. Uh, so uh, I tested the wood on top because well I was going to cut a piece out anyway. Uh, but it wasn't strong enough um, for me to drill it straight through, so I had to uh, put a thin inlay in there. So it's now it's two mils uh, deep, and on the bottom piece it's one mil on top and two mils on the bottom. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is unique. Uh, what I did. This is actually the truss work cover. Oh, I love it. So I had a piece left, which I, I uh, sanded down to uh, about one and a half mils on top and two mils uh, on the bottom. And I relocated the screws to either side. So 
so that they follow the um, uh, the tuning pegs. Clever. Uh, was it this <laughs> one? Where's my chat button? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chat. Oh, I actually technology. Um, put it on there so you can oh, nice. just like your normal cover. No. Nice. And um, yeah, so I mean. It is the Hutch Club guitar now. I mean, that's no, <laughs> let's make no mistake. Um, but I'm pretty happy how this turned out because this was the first time I did an inlay on anything. <laughs> and uh, I read on the internet, like, big inlays are a pain in the ass. They're really hard. And round inlays are even worse. And I was like, what? Well, mine's big and round. Okay, okay. I can feel that you really want to say something all the way through that last bit. So go on, let it out. He couldn't screw it in too deep. That's what she said. All this talk about inlays and big inlays being hard and his is big and round. Oh my god. He's killing me. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, well, go big or go home. And I really like how it turned out. Uh, it still needs some sanding on some pieces. Um, but since uh, Gunther's doing the finishing on this, on the body, uh, I'm going to leave that to Gunther. Because uh, that man knows what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks, man. And uh, I'm going to use this, uh, the technique I, uh, um, well, I think I invented a technique because I did it in a really weird way because um, I was scared that it wouldn't go flush with the body um, because it's really hard to get this big shape in there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, um, I did some weird shit with chisels and stuff and, uh, and an angle grinder. <laughs> angle grinder? <laughs> I love working with an angle grinder. The chisel with the chisel and nizzle, you know. I, I even did this part with an angle grinder. To be honest, <laughs> I, I, I love I love attacking stuff with angle grinders. What order is the mother's list? What do you mean? What order? Uh, the next one's Gunther, and I think it's going from Gunther to Mayhem. Uh, or from Gunther to Lamb. I'm not sure. Uh, you were thinking about a decal, by the way. Uh, did I leave enough room on the uh, headstock for you to do the decal? Yeah, hey, um, is, is there enough room for you to do the decal? Or do you want to do the decal on the uh, scratch plate? Well, body. Um, body scratch plate. How do we call this? Integrated scratch plate? <laughs> but all I can say, Mr. Durky Lurky, is you've done an outstanding job. I love it. I think it's absolutely incredible. I can't wait to see how this thing turns out in the end. Um, so thank you so much for doing all of that. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, jokes aside, of course, um, it is a job well done. So please, everybody, go and check out his channel. Link is in the description. Give him a sub. All of that stuff is well worth it. Come and join us on the Discord where you could talk to Dirk himself and others that are involved in the Travelling Guitar Project. Join me on Twitch. I do live performances on a Wednesday morning, 10.30, and a Friday morning, 10.30, British Summertime or GMT, whichever it is. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel as well. It helps me out in a big way. Like I said, all links are in the description, including a link to get your hands on some awesome merch. <sighs> don't think there's much more left to say, except peace. Till next time. Ready? What? Cue that jingle, baby. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe. And never miss an episode of my YouTube show. <laughs> Peace. Till next time.